Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey with the Hockey Movement and I'm recording a tour of the Colt Hockey Factory. We're going to take a look inside and see how the Colt Hockey Stick is made. All right, there's a quick glimpse at the process, but we're gonna give you a more detailed tour. First, let's meet Gus. He's gonna be our tour guide for the day, as well as myself. I wanted to show you this patent wall. It's an entire wall of patents that Integrand owns for materials that only they can use. They started Colt to use these materials on hockey sticks. Gus is gonna tell you about it. So these are the sticks as they are received. Uh, this is where we begin our process. They get a light sand, they get inspected prior to getting anything started. And once they're masked, they go out to the production line and get started. Uh, is there anything that you've changed because you're putting the steel on the bottom of the stick? Uh, yes, we have actually. So ideally what we've done is we've removed the material from the bottom area, some of it, and we've actually brought it up to the top where it will strengthen this. Yeah, and then you, you have a stronger shaft because there's a bit more carbon there. That's right. Uh, and then you're replacing it with a lighter material, but a lot more durable material on the bottom. That's right. Let's grab one of these raw sticks and go through the making of a cold stick. Here we see the raw sticks ready to start the exhaustive process of raw to nano steel coated colt. So Tony starts off grabbing one stick and giving it a spray to prep it for the next stage. So after he has the one stick sprayed, puts it in the rack, grabs another one and repeats. Once that rack is full, they're taken over to basically an oven. So this one's wet, takes it over to this uh, oven. They're going to sit there and cure for a few hours ready for the next step. And the next step is this basically a bath. So there's four tanks here, they get dipped in each one, and then over to the next one. I'm going to take you to the factory floor so you can listen into the process. So this is the process to start here, you dip, 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 over here. How long do they stay in there? Uh, about seven minutes. About seven minutes in each tank? Just this one here, each oh. one's a little different. Oh, so a different time for each yeah, tank. Yeah, this yeah, this is uh, probably the longest one for the and, activation line. And from start to finish? About 45, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Nice. Which one is the magic? Like, where, where's the nano steel actually? At the tank down here. Oh, wait, this isn't even the. This is not even it. This is just uh, getting it ready. <laughs> getting it ready for the metal. This is all a series of uh, this is like washes and rinses. and. That's right. There's a lot of rinses, like in between a lot of the steps, to make yeah. sure that there are no contaminants between each step. Yep. Um, and each process is doing something, right? So the one step is making it ready for the next step, which is making it ready for the next step. Right. And so on and so on and so on. <laughs> and it leads leads to the grand finale. That's right. So essentially this is an electrochemical process. So once we put the sticks in, we apply a current to it, and it actually moves the ion straight to the, uh, to the stick itself, creating the, the metal that you see now. Finally, the magic happens. So right now, from that process, the stick is coated in copper. It's gonna get dipped two more times and then put in this massive bath. And it's gonna sit there for quite some time. And what's happening right now is in those sachets that you see hanging, there's basically coins of nickel and cobalt. And this process takes the ions from there and sticks them to the hockey stick. Well, this guy checks his email. Nah, he's not checking his email. All right, so the process is almost done. The sticks are waiting, but they still have to be wrapped. So Gus is going to show us how that's done. Sometimes you just need to smile and have an enormous cup of coffee. Gus, is that your uh, coffee cup there? Yeah, it is. It's my Monday morning coffee cup. Sometimes you kind of need a little bit of extra coffee in the Mondays.
explain the magic of the material, uh, this, this nano metal. What does it do? Uh, why is it, is it better than a stick that I'm going to buy in the store? Well, this material was developed for, the, uh, for aerospace and the military applications. So it really is like a very, very innovative uh, material. So what we've done is we've put it onto the stick. It's very, very light coating, but it's very, very durable. So with your hacks and slashes, this will actually protect your sticks because like everybody knows with the carbon fiber sticks, a lot of times you get slashed, you get hit, you instigate a crack, and the carbon fiber is done. Awesome. So you have the durability from the material. It's going to prevent those hack slashes, those micro breaks, which leads to the stick breaking. What about performance? Is it going to help my shot at all? Absolutely. Actually, it'll help your shot a lot because the, uh, the energy stored and the energy output from your stick will actually improve your shot. And also, it will last a lot longer that way instead of it actually, like, it'll keep its pop. Ah, uh, right, because the material doesn't really break down, so... That's right, it actually will, will last much longer in your hands. Cool, so, so you get the consistency, the stick doesn't start to feel uh, like, you know, your 85 doesn't feel like a 60 after That's a while. Right. Yeah, it will actually maintain its flex, it will maintain what, you, what we've made it. This is a pretty good demonstration of the strength of the uh, steel that they use. These are ping pong balls, which you all know can break very easily, so I'm going to put them down on the ground here and stand on them and show you uh, what the steel can do. So the guys are hooking me up with the new twig and they asked what curve I wanted. I usually go with the Sackic, but in this case, I'm gonna grab the OV curve. You can see it's got that big fish hook at the end on the toe. And I'm gonna use this specifically for a video on saucer passing. Uh, see if we can get some, some of that sky sauce. Thanks to the guys at Colt for having me over. If you're interested in the sticks, there's a link in the video description. Hit that subscribe button. We do new hockey videos every single week.